No way. Folks, King of Fighters 15 is officially released today, and uh, I have really been enjoying the game quite a bit. I had some matches that I think really sold me and affirmed in my head why I think this game is really, really fun and why I think it's a game that I'm probably going to be playing for quite a while. So I'm going to show you those matches, but first I wanted to answer some really common questions I keep getting about the game. First and foremost... Is the game good? Should I get the game? Is it worth picking up? And I'm going to say yes with a little bit of reservation, okay? So I've had some people ask me, hey, I've never really played a fighting game before other than, you know, just casually or just mashing. I'm thinking about picking up KOF as my first fighting game. Is this a good idea? And I would say maybe, maybe not. You need to temper your expectations a little bit. I would say KOF 15 is going to be more difficult to get into than a lot of modern fighting games. Personally, I didn't find the tutorial to be, you know, that compelling myself. You know, it just basically runs you through and tells you how to do every attack. And it tells you how to do every kind of super and stuff like that. But, you know, it doesn't actually teach you the game that well, in my opinion. So I don't think that... Uh, it's going to be that easy to learn the game without consulting YouTube or other guides and stuff. It's also just a pretty hard game. I think if you haven't spent that much time playing fighting games before, there's a lot of stuff in this game that you're going to find pretty difficult. Even basic stuff like, you know, short hopping is not that easy to do, especially on a gamepad if you don't have a stick or a hitbox. Super motions as well. There's a lot of tricky ones in the game that I think are definitely going to be hard for beginners. So keep that in mind. And there's a lot of legacy things that you kind of just have to know. It's sort of similar to Tekken in the aspect of a lot of stuff has been the same in KOF for a really long time. And so there's a lot of stuff that isn't really documented in the game that the veterans know, but you don't know. You know, for example, like Elizabeth, one of her supers is quarter circle forward, half circle back, which can be hard to cancel into in some situations. But there's actually a shortcut. If you do double quarter circle forward and then back, you get the same super, which that's not listed anywhere in the game. You just kind of have to know that that's a shortcut for that. And there is just a ton of stuff in this game where it's like you just kind of have to know that there's this hidden technique that is not listed in the tutorials or on the move list or anything. But people know because they've been playing these games for a really long time. Also, if you are planning on picking up the game and you want to get some good single player time in, you don't just want to focus on multiplayer. I don't really think this game has that much to offer. The story mode, it's kind of a stretch to call it a story mode. It's basically arcade mode. There's a cutscene at the beginning. There's only six fights plus a boss. There's like one cutscene in the middle. So uh, yeah, there is not that much single player content to chew on. There is the mission mode, which I would say I was a little disappointed that the mission mode is only five per character. That's a little slim. These are pretty useful combos. I think these are actually combos that will be useful in matches, unlike something like KOF 13, but you just run out of them so fast, and there's so many mechanics that these don't actually cover. For example, Ash, I know I talked about this in another video, one of Ash's most important tools is the San Kulot Super, which allows him to do a bunch of really damaging combos, but San Kulot is just not part of any of his trials, so there's a lot of stuff like this that is missing from the trials, I feel. They don't really go far enough. I would have really liked if they added five more trials for each character that are a lot harder harder and a lot more optimal both so you can get deep with these more complex mechanics for the characters and so that there's more of like a lasting challenge that you can put more time into the game and get a lot of hours of enjoyment out of just mastering these combo trials so yeah those are kind of my disclaimers hopefully it doesn't sound like i don't like the game i actually love the game i think if you are a fan of fighting games this is honestly a really, really worthy purchase. It is just so fun. First of all, the online is good. I'm not going to say it's perfect. I think compared to a game like Guilty Gear Strive, Strive has been more consistent for me. Uh, this game, as long as the ping is below like 150 milliseconds, it's been quite good. So, you know, if you're on East Coast playing Europe or something, sometimes it can get 
around that level and it can be a little bit iffy but as long as you know you're playing someone on the same continent or whatever it should be a low below 150 milliseconds and you shouldn't have a problem so it's definitely a million times better than what we had in kof 13 and 14 so i really appreciate them adding rollback to the game even if it's not perfect it is still a major step up and the game is very playable and enjoyable online in my experience but then let's talk about the gameplay i would say i have been very enchanted by this game's gameplay to a degree it has something that I've really been missing in fighting games lately. It is simplified in some respects compared to the older KOFs. For example, there's auto combo. If you just want to mash jab, you can get an auto combo that way. But in a lot of ways, this is still a very legacy game. It is a very open-ended game. It is a game with a massive amount of depth. And I really don't think that I've felt sort of this drive to grind in a fighting game since like Tekken 7, that might be the last time where you just get caught in this really addictive loop of like, oh, I lost to something. Let me go to training mode, grind out how to beat it. And then next time I fight someone who uses that strategy, I'll be able to beat it. And then it's like you land a move and you're like, oh, I wonder what kind of combos I get off that move. I wonder what's my optimal punish for this or that. It is just so fun to go through this process. And because it is so sort of hardcore in the sense that you have to know a lot of routes if you want to be optimal. You have to know a lot of confirms. It's difficult to confirm stuff like that. It really forces you to get in there and try for yourself and figure out you know, what are my good options for XYZ situation, which is really fun. The neutral in this game is also very addictive. It's very, very free form. And I would say you can kind of play in different ways depending on what you want to do. And each player can sort of take the ideas that they want to apply and work it into their neutral. So for example, like a common neutral interaction, let's say with, with Clark, my main goal in neutral with Clark is to get you to block this move, right? To get you to block jump CD. Because if you block that, all of a sudden, you know, I can dash up command throw. I can go low, you know, and try to mix you up with a low. I can hop again and try to mix you up that way. Or I can like hop again into an empty jump low and mix you up with that. It's just such a powerful situation for me to hit you with such a long block stun jumping like this, right? But there's so much counterplay as well. Like if they think I'm going to go for this, they can jab me out of it with a stand jab. And then all of a sudden it's their turn to set up a hop. Or they can go for something a little more high commitment, like a down fierce, which will get you more damage. And some characters can combo off anti-airs like that on counter hit. But that has a huge risk because hops are very hard to react to. So you kind of have to make like a preemptive move and then I can punish in different ways with a whiff punish or by like neutral hopping to bait it or whatever. I can bait you into doing a dragon punch. You know, in a game like Street Fighter, if they jump, dragon punch is generally, you know, a pretty one size beats all solution. But in this, because of the power of hops, because there are four different kinds of jumping, hops, hyper hops, jumps, and super jumps, the way that you can mix up your offense is just so varied. So it is a fast, furious, addictive type of neutral where these interactions are just happening like every other second. You're struggling to just get that little bit of advantage in neutral so that you can blow the opponent up. And it is just so satisfying in this game when you finally get that big hit and you just know you're going to burn it all and go into super and all kinds of nonsense and really, really make the opponent pay. It's so fun. Uh, so yeah, long story short, I've been loving the game. It's definitely not perfect. It's got a couple bugs. The single player contents are quite lacking, but the online is quite solid and the gameplay is just a blast. So like I said, I have a really, really hype match to show you guys that I hope you enjoy and I hope acts as like a proof of concept for why I am so hooked on this game and why I've been enjoying it so much. So with that, thank you guys for watching and enjoy the match. All right, run it back, bro. Run it back. I really let it all rip on that. Bad luck for him, though. Nice. 
nice. Ooh, wake up throw. Let's go. Let's go. Good guard cancel. Let's go, Clark! Smart guard cancel. Yo, Clark got it in, man. Clark got it in. Let's go. Nice. Ooh, the low profile was good. All right, let's go, Liz. Good block. Mai is such a problem for me. Bro! I'm essentially getting perfected here. I don't think she's taken a hit yet. Oh, and the empty jump low? That was the wrong move. Oh no! How do I beat Mai? That missed hop really hurt. No way. Oh! For a second, I was like, maybe I'll live. Maybe I'll live. Bruh, you gotta be joking. At, to be honest, like... It's really hard to get a hit with Ash against a defensive player like this. Oh, OCV. One character victory. He, as in, he beat me with one character. I 
I got a little lucky on that one. I'm man enough to admit it. His pokes are kind of nice. Maybe I should stop rolling. Oh, Jesus. How did I drop that? Let's go, Liz! That's what I'm talking about! Dead. Now I'm dead. Jeez. Alright. I actually have a lot of meter too. Thought I had it. How is that safe? That's what I'm talking about, chat. Good block, though. Not again. Not again! Okay, we're alive. We're alive. We're alive. There's a chance. That was a nail biter. Keep an eye on this match. No shame in my game, chat. Half screen random flash kick. Damn, he's good. You're right. You're right. Damn, he's good. <laughs> Alright, this is it. This is for all the marbles. This is for all the marbles, okay? Even though he's beaten me way more than I've beaten him. This, determ this determines who's the better player, okay? This game right here. I'm all in.
Yeah, it's 1-1, one, one. exactly. You lose 10 in a row, and then you win one, and it's like, all right, it's 1-1. One, one. All right, I'm, I'm going to be so focused. He's cracked. Okay, maybe that was not the smartest idea to block the fireball with a command grab. Oh, God. Nice. Didn't actually think he would do it. Let's go. Let's go. Clark off to a good start. Ooh. Let's go, dude. Mm, good jump. Mm, good confirm. Can we get the kill off this? Oh, that was a nice combo, though. Oh, I was going for empty jump low. Good, good throw check. Yo, the footsies right now are out of control. <laughs> Sir? Ooh, smart jump. This is actually so intense just because I said that it's last one. <laughs> that it actually adds so much pressure. Oh uh, yeah, this is the final boss for sure. You can tell he's a little hesitant to throw projectiles. Ooh, unsafe. Didn't realize. Miss the super, but it might be okay. Yeah, the jab checks are really good from this guy. Mm, nice. Oh, I'm broken? I wasn't watching. Nice, nice, nice. I was looking for a uh, throw. Whew. All right, let's not get hit by her ultimate, okay? Deal. Oh, that was so nasty. What the heck? Smart. 
Damn. Okay, well, we don't have to worry about level three anymore. I'll take it. I'll take it. The trade. Whoo! Those were tight sets, man. Those were sick. You know, I'm not. I'm not saying that uh, I won overall, but hey, we won the last set, and that's what matters. Whew. That was sick.